Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, I thought we'd be taking a look at the Transformers G1 Blur. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Alright, so here we have Generation 1's Blur, the fast-talking robot that first appeared in the Transformers Generation 1 movie. Every time this character comes up, I can't help but think of him doing the Micro Machines commercial. For those of you who don't remember, Michael Machada, God, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, well, anyways, he was the same voice actor who also did the famous Micro Machine commercials from my generation. So if any of you are curious, go check out some of those after this video. Alright, without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Now, looking back at him, um, his design isn't all that great. I mean, well, at the time it was. Um, he has that typical blocky, boxy look of the Transformers of the mid-80s. Um, but back then, that's what we were used to. That's what we expected. We didn't have, have a lot of articulation back then. and We were kind of used to our toys being like that. We really used our imagination. Plus, it was the transformation feature that really set us off. Um, as you can see here, his face is kind of really blocky. Along with everything else, he has a little bit of his back kibble that comes up on the back here, but not as much as uh, later on generations. I'm really thinking of the Transformers Armada blur. Um, I would have him up here as a comparison, but he's down in my basement right now, and I don't feel like getting him out. But maybe we'll do a review on him one day, and then we could compare all three of the blurs that I have. Anyways, he comes with his own little shield right here, which has one of those nice uh, heat decals on there. Let me just hold this on here and see if I can get this to work. Um, I'm going to have to hold it a little bit more. Those, those decals were one of those uh, gimmicks in the 80s where you had to put your thumb on there and have the heat from your hands or body warm up the materials inside to reveal what loyalty they, what faction the Autobots or Decepticons belong to, even though they came with a bunch of other decals that would stick on there. Alright, you can kind of see that and it will start to fade over time. I really wish they would bring some of those back. I remember they brought them back for some of the Beast Wars figures, but... Mm, It'd be kind of nice to have him on the newer Transformers. Um, I've seen other uh, versions of him where he had a sticker on here. This one doesn't particularly have that one, and I should confess that I didn't actually own this guy growing up. Um, I actually saw him at a yard sale for like um, 10 bucks, and seeing as a G Generation 1 toy, I kind of snagged him up because I thought that was a very good deal. Um, anyways, let's go to the transformations. So, uh. Oh, one other thing I should point out is the neat thing is when the uh, animated version of this guy came out, he also had a shield. Didn't have a gun, but he came with a shield, so it's nice to see that that aesthetic carried over on into the third generation of Blur. Well, there might have been a couple more in between there, but I didn't never have those ones. Anyway, so let's try to transform this guy. Um, let's fold his feet back in here. We're going to move his head forward like this. And let me see. Actually, we might need to move his head back right here and then there we go move that uh, back piece over it's kind of important to well, mine anyways like I said I didn't grow up with this guy so I don't know how accurate the transformation is but I'm just going off of what memory and that I've seen on online and what also seems to work but it seems like this head you can't quite you can't quite get this back over the head when it's all the way up so you might need to start putting it up there and then kind of have them both snap together. Now that's as far as it goes and I'll get into that a little bit later. Anyways, now we take the feet and we just snap them back up into here and you can see that there's little wheels right here and here and that's going to be what makes them roll. Okay, now we just take these uh, little ta these little parts right here, fold them over and slide them back in. Fold them over and slide them back in. Now his arms are kind of really loose. Like I said, it wasn't my toy, so I don't know how much he was played with. So they're probably not going to stay up the best in in um, in his transformation mode. Uh, but they're supposed to kind of just go out like this. Now we just take his shield and just there's a little hole in there. You can see the little little hooks right here. We just tab those on, and he kind of creates this futuristic space car. Uh, uh, and just for giggles, we'll take his gun and put it on the top here. That was one of the things about the old 80s Transformers things. They never really had a spot you could put the gun other than on the hole, than like a hole. They 
Later versions, they had something where the gun would fold in on the transformation and made it a lot easier to keep track of the weapons. That was something that they introduced in Beast Wars, and I was much, much happier for it because I think it was either Beast Wars or some... Beast Wars and a little bit of Generation 2, but it just made it... I was so happy because I was always losing the weapons when, I, when these guys first came out. Anyways, this has been a look at Blur, and let me move the... Or not a look at Blur, we're still previewing them, but here's a him in his vehicle mode. All right, yeah, you can see that they don't really stay up all that well, but um, it doesn't roll all that okay on this table. Let me try rolling them over here. Uh, he rolls okay on other surfaces, but just this wooden table doesn't really uh, work all that well. Now, what I've heard other people complain about, and I would have to say my major complaint for when I first transformed him, I thought I didn't do it right, was that you can see his head through right here, and this back part doesn't cover all the way. That kind of loses a little bit of the transformation for me and a little bit of the whole idea that, oh, yeah, this guy is supposed to, well, I should take that back. I was going to complain that, oh, yeah, it kind of loses the fact that you don't know he's going to change into a whole big robot. But look at this vehicle design. How can you honestly not think that this is going to be turning into a robot or something because it's just, it's just so futuristic and way out there. That's one of those things about the season three transformers that yeah their vehicles started to get a little bit of way a little bit away from the idea that they're supposed to be in disguise it almost just turned like oh we can just turn into vehicles back in the first few seasons you had someone like jazz or bone they turn into cars and they could easily hide on the street but these ones yeah they they're kind of gonna you're kind of gonna know that this futuristic car can transform especially considering he was a hover car in the series yeah that's why he has these little wheels down here but anyways um here's a comparison him to the armada blur I'm not going to transform him because this isn't his review, so maybe one day later. And he's still kind of a new toy, so I'm not going to go too much into him. But you can see they're roughly the same size. Uh, and then on the ground here, they're, they're also, uh, he's a little bit taller. I would also like to point out that they did keep his little, uh, this uh, versions of Blur. They did, uh, when this version of Blur came out, they did keep his little antenna on the top. Now, this antenna is also made of a nice soft plastic like this one, but this one's a lot softer than this one. I have to actually kind of really push it there to give it some play, but it is also of a softer plastic than the rest of them. Ah, his arms keep falling off. Anyways, yeah, I was really happy to snag this guy up at a, even though he was at a thrift store, but I'm not a thrift store. It was actually a flea market. Ugh. For any of these flea markets, swap me, eh, whatever you will. But anyways, so... This has been a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Blur. Ah. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen today, please feel free to subscribe, like, or leave a comment below in this comment section. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.